Namaste, everyone. Thank you for joining me today for this session. So let's start sitting comfortably, closing the eyes, and taking a moment to relax. Clearing the mind of any preoccupations. And focusing on breathing slowly and deeply. And today we go through a moon flow. And as we know, the moon has an effect on our energy level, our moods, and emotions. In some yoga tradition, there is no practice on full moon and no moon because it's more difficult to control the mind on those days. We don't have to worry about this since the full moon was two days ago. And in this session, we find balance between the calming energy of the mind with soothing postures and more energizing pose to develop strengths. And we'll take child pose to start. With the neck relaxed, arms can go along the sides or in front of you. And start feeling that you breathe into the back of the body. Opening space in your back. Relaxing the shoulders. Relaxing the lower back. And then slowly roll up to sitting with the back straight and let your hands rest on the knees. You can close the eyes. Feel your breath flowing into the rib cage, into the abdomen. And let's start gently stretching the neck, moving the chin down to the chest. And preparing for half circle, moving the right shoulder, the right ear toward the right shoulder, then back to center, and left ear to left shoulder, and continuing the movement a few times to relax the neck muscles. Last time. Rolling the head up, and you can open your eyes, fixing your gaze in front of you softly. And rolling the shoulders back a few times. Relax the upper back, release the shoulders down, hands to the, to the side of the body. Lift the right arm up, and as we exhale, bend to the side. And breathe into the side of the rib cage, stretching gently from the hip to the shoulder and between the ribs. As you inhale, push yourself up and exhale, release the hand down and other side, left arm up and exhale, bend into the side. Slow, deep breath, letting the space open. And inhaling, coming back to center, releasing the hands. Inhale, straighten the spine. Let's go into a twist without forcing the movement. Looking to the side, opening the back shoulder, opening the chest. And coming back to center. Release for a moment, inhale, and exhale, turn to the other side. And turn back to the center, and come on hands and knees into tabletop position. Stay 
If you see me modifying some posture, not putting the hands flat on the ground, it's because my wrist hurts a bit, so I modify on the fingers, but you can put your hands flat on the ground. Doing cat cow, dropping the chest, lifting the head, and exhaling, rounding the spine into cow. And a few times, releasing the spine. Awakening the whole back. And coming back to neutral position, preparing for needle pose. Lift the right arm up and exhale. Let the right hand slide under the left shoulder. Once you get into the position, stretch your left arm forward. Hold and breathe, stretching both shoulders. And then inhale, come back to the starting position and other side with the left arm. Exhale, go under the right shoulder until your head comes to the floor for support and stretch your right arm. And come back to starting position and let's go into sphinx pose. Elbows down and letting the hips come down. Press on your elbows, open the front of the body and feel a stretch in the back. Feel the action of the core supporting the back. And then release down, hands under the chin. And as you inhale, lift the chest up into variation of cobra, working the back muscles. One more breath and exhale, elbows down, coming back to tabletop and then walking the feet forward, preparing for standing forward, forward, hanging down. You can soften the knees, grab elbows and hang down. Feel that the force of gravity is pulling you down through your elbows and hands, lengthening the spine while you are stretching the back of the legs. And from here, let's go into squatting position. Turn the toes out, bend the knees, and push the knees out with your elbows, hands in the center of the chest. Opening the hips. From there, hands coming down, pressing on the hands to lift the hips up, walk the feet toward each other, and then stretch into forward fold a bit deeper, chest over the legs. You can keep your hands in front of you, you can take a block under your hands, or even put your arms behind the legs to help hold them deeper. So now try to straighten the legs more, feeling a deep stretch into the hamstrings. Bend the knees and come into chair pose, lifting the arms up, expanding upward through the spine, through the arms. You can come down a little more, feeling the strength of your legs. And keep moving the hands upward, keeping the shoulders relaxed. And from here, going into forward fold with the arms behind the back, interlacing the fingers, straighten the legs, and lift the arms away from the back, head moving down, chest toward the legs. Bending the knees again and coming back to chair. And pressing on the feet, straightening the legs, releasing the arms down along the sides. 
And next, we'll be working on Chandra Namaskar or moon salutation. That's a traditional move, and it's the first time I'm teaching it, so we are going to do it a few repetitions. It's a bit longer than sun salutation, but quite soothing, and especially if you connect to the breath nicely. We start with the hands together on the heart. Taking a deep breath in, exhale. With the next breath in, inhale, stretch the arms over the head, lengthening the spine, preparing for half moon. Exhale, bending to the side. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, bending to the other side. Press on the feet, inhale and come up. Exhale, open the right leg out to the side and come into squatting position into goddess pose. Inhale, straighten the legs, five pointed star, arms out, turn the right foot forward, prepare for triangle, reach forward and bring the right hand down toward the ankle, left arm back. Inhale. As you exhale, let the left arm come down, holding into pyramid pose, turning the left foot slightly forward. If needed, you can bend the knee, chest over the legs. Bend the knee, coming to moon crescent, arms overhead. And exhale, hands to the chest, turning to the side, into side lunge, stretch into goddess to the other side, press on the foot, hands down, knee to the floor, knee crescent, arms overhead, exhale, hands down, pyramid pose, inhale into triangle, trikonasana, Press on the feet, come up. Exhale into goddess. Inhale into five pointed star. And feet moving to the right. Hands to the heart. Stretching the arms over the head. Bending on one side, half moon. Inhale, come up. Exhale to the other side. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hands to heart. This is half of Chandra Namaskar, moon salutation. Second half, inhale, stretch the arms up. Exhale, bending to one side. Inhale, come up. Exhale, half moon to the other side. Inhale, come up. Exhale, left foot stepping out, goddess pose. Inhale, straighten the legs, turn the left foot forward, triangle, trikonasana, and down. Exhale, both hands down, turning the hips toward the left. And knee down, moon crescent. Exhale, turning into side lunge, goddess. Side lunge to the other side. Press on the feet, turn to the side, moon crescent, arms up. Exhale, hands down, pyramid. Lift the arm, triangle. Press on the feet, come up. Turn to the front, exhale into goddess. Extend the arms out, straight legs, and step both feet to the left as we started the first time. Take a breath and let's repeat it. Inhale, stretch the arms up. Exhale, half moon. Inhale, come up. Exhale, half moon to the other side. Inhale, coming up, step out with the right foot, goddess squat. Inhale, straighten into five-pointed star, turn the foot 
and stretch into triangle to Rikonasana. Inhale and exhale, left hand down, pyramid pose. Prepare for lunge or crescent, new crescent arms up. Exhale, turn into the side, into side lunge. Come into center, into goddess. Side lunge to the other side. And turning to the left now, knee down, arms up, new crescent. Exhale, hands down, pyramid pose. Triangle inhale. Press on the feet, inhale, come up. Exhale. Extend the arms. And let's step to the right. Second part, lift the arms up, half moon, exhale. Inhale, come up. Exhale, other side. Inhale, come up, prepare to step with the left foot out, goddess squat. Inhale, open, turn into the side for triangle, reach forward, then left hand down. Both hands down to pyramid pose. Moon crescent arms. Exhale, side lunge. In the center, goddess squat. Side lunge on the other side. And crescent, moon crescent arms. Exhale, hands down, pyramid, triangle, press on the feet, come up, finishing with goddess one more time, arms out, straight legs, step to the side, hands to the heart, stretch them over the head, bend on the side, half moon, inhale, come up. Exhale on the side. Inhale, come up and exhale. Hands to heart. Let's close the eyes and feel the flow of calming energy in the body and mind. We'll repeat this flow but slowly and holding some of the postures. So you can work on strength and go a bit deeper eventually, especially if this is new to you. So let's start, stretch the arms over the head. Exhale, half moon, and hold. Press on the feet, inhale and come up. And exhale, bend to the other side. Keep the arms close to the head and push the hips slightly out to the opposite side. But feel that you breathe into the side. Press on the feet, inhale, come up. Prepare to step out for goddess. Wide legs, knees out, toes pointing out, and hands up. Hold. You can go down a little deeper, feeling the hips opening. Chest is open, breath slow, and straighten the legs, open the arms to five-pointed star, prepare for triangle, turn the left foot forward, the right foot out, extend through both sides, and bring the right hand down toward the ankle, left arm straight up. Let's hold, trigonas, another triangle. Exhaling, releasing the left hand down. You can turn the left foot slightly in, 45 degrees. And if needed, bend the right knee. Or if you have two blocks, you can use them under your hands for pyramid pose. 
Ubhajanasana. Let's hold and feel a nice stretch at the back of the legs. From here, going into moon crescent, arms over heads, and lunging a bit deeper, opening the left psoas. Extending through the spine, so feeling that one force is pulling you toward the ground and the other one upward toward the sky. The next transition is a little difficult and if needed, you can use the hands down on the floor for side lunge, deep inner thigh stretch. So hands to the heart or hands down for support. Then come to center, bend the knees. You can keep your hands in the center of the chest for a deep squat. Let's hold it a few breaths. And then go to the other side for side lunge. Deeply stretching the inner thigh. You can go all the way down. Don't worry if the foot is lifting. And turning to the left side, knee down, arms overhead for moon crescent, extending upward while feeling the stretch in the hip flexor on the right side. Relax and open the front of the body. Exhale, hands down, prepare for pyramid, straighten both legs. Relax. Breathe slowly and deeply. From here, we're going to triangle, right arm up. Pressing on the feet, inhale, coming up, five-pointed star, adjust the feet, toes pointing out, preparing for goddess squat, coming down and holding. And straightening the legs, arms out to the side, we step to the right with both feet, Together, hands down and coming back to the heart, then stretching the arms over the head, half moon, hold it, keep the feet firmly planted into the earth, press on the feet, come up, exhale to the other side. Inhale, coming up, exhale, hands to heart. So that's the first half. We go again to the other side, holding the postures. So that should become more familiar to you. Inhale, stretching the arms over the head. And exhale, bending to the side. Inhale, press on the feet, come up. Exhale, bend to the other side. Inhale, coming up, prepare to step out to the left side into goddess squat and hold it a few breaths. As you warm up, you can go maybe a bit deeper into the pose that we are repeating. And straightening the legs, triangle, turn the left foot out, extend to the left side, and down, right arm straight up.
and going into pyramid pose. So notice that as you warmed up with the flow, repeating the posture several times, you can go a bit deeper, feel more at ease. And coming down with the knee, arm over the head, into moon crescent. Prepare for side lunge, hands to heart, turning to the side. Coming in the center, then to the other side. Straightening the legs. Stand the arms out, prepare to step out to the left side, feet together, hands to the heart, stretching the arms over the head, and bending again into half moon. Pressing on the feet, coming up, exhaling to the other side. And coming up, bringing the hands back to the heart where we started. And again, closing the eyes, feeling the body warmed up, stronger, more focused, the mind more focused and calmer. And release the hands down. And let's continue with a few more standing pose, including some moon posture. You need a block. And you can start facing the, the small side of your mat, inhaling, lifting the arms all over the head. Exhale, folding forward, taking your block under the right hand, slightly in front of you and to the right, and step back with your left foot. You can soften the right knee to find strength as you go into half moon pose, lifting the left arm up. Open to the side. Finding balance. Strong standing leg and core. And then softly landing back into warrior two. Going into reverse warrior. And from there into side angle. Stretching the left arm along the left side. So getting a straight line. And breathing into the side of the body. If you want to bind, you can modify the pose, left arm behind the back, and both hands coming together. From there, we go into twisted half moon. So take the block on the other side, the left hand on the block, the, right, the left leg up, and the right arm. This is half moon two, twisted variation. And exhale, lunge back. And come with straight legs, feet parallel to each other. Exhale, hands to the waist. Inhale, opening the chest. Exhale, bending forward into Prasarita Padottanasana A. Hands down on the floor. Let's first press on the hands, lengthen the spine, and then exhale, let the head move down toward the floor. Deep stretch into both inner thighs. Spine is long and relaxed, neck relaxed. Press on the hands, come back up halfway. You can take your block under the hands, hands right under the shoulders, and going into a twist, right arm up. Hold it, opening the right shoulder.
and changing side, right hand down, left arm back. And both hands down, hands to the waist, press on the feet, inhale, come up. Move the arms out to the side, turn the left foot forward, take your block to prepare for half moon on the other side. You can step the right foot a bit closer, adjust the position of your block, left hand on the block, lifting the right leg up, extending the right arm up into half moon balance. And trying to stay steady while you breathe. Keeping the strength of the leg. Left leg here, the core. And stepping down into warrior two, adjust the position. Lean back into reverse warrior. And then go into side angle. You can have the left elbow on the Legs stretching through the right side. You can stay there or modify the pose, making it a little more challenging, binding if you want. Several options possible. And then releasing. And bringing both feet together, back to mountain pose, bending the knees and slowly sitting to the floor. As you sit on the floor, adjust your legs for closed face. If you prefer just keeping your legs crossed easily, that's all right. For the full pose, the knees are crossing. We'll start with the right knee on top, the feet on the side of the hips. If needed, use a small pillow, but any leg position will work. Stay straight on the spine. Then right arm moving up, bending the elbow. Use a strap if needed, or connect hands together in close space. Domukhasana. Chest open, spine straight, head straight, gaze steady on the point in front of you. And release, changing the crossing of the legs, whatever variation you chose. To take today and preparing for the arms on the other side, left arm up, bend the elbow, connect the hands or use a strap as an extension and then make sure your head remains straight, left elbow pointing up, chest open. And then release and relax the shoulders, release the legs. Feet and knees together, legs pose being the boat. Sit with the back straight, lean slightly back and feel that you're engaging the core muscles while lifting the feet up and extending the arms forward. You can keep the knees bent or straighten the legs for more challenge. And slowly releasing the feet down and going into Janu Shirshasana variation, right leg out, left foot, left knee bent and left foot in, so the legs are wide and that will be a side stretch rather than a forward bend. So the right shoulder will go toward the right leg, extending the arm toward the foot, then the left arm goes toward the right foot as well. So breathing into the side, stretching the left hip.
and releasing and coming into an easy twist to the left side, right hand on the knee, turning the chest. Coming back to center and changing the legs. Sit nice and straight and prepare to side bend toward the left leg, right arm up, lengthen the side. Open the right shoulder up and back. Open the heart to the front. And come back up and go into an easy twist to the right. And release to the front, bend both knees, bring the knees together and lie down on your back. Preparing for bridge pose, feet close to the buttocks, slightly apart, pressing on the feet, lifting the hips up. Then you can catch hands under the back, rolling the shoulders toward each other, pressing down on the arms and the feet. So lift a little higher and holding a few breaths. This session being a bit little short, I usually have a hard time finishing my program, which was also including an inversion. So if you wish to continue, I recommend going into shoulder stand or variations. And nicely finishing with alternate nose split breathing before Shavasana. And I'm not sure we have time for all that. So releasing the hands, pulling the knees toward the chest, relaxing the back. And coming up into sitting, sitting comfortably. If you have a pillow, you can take it. So I chose to finish with alternate nostril breathing together, but we can continue later on with relaxation or inversion. So let's take the right hand, the thumb will close the right nostril. Take a breath in, eyes closed. Close the right nostril and exhale through the left side. Inhale through the left.